Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to both create and assign a skill to a service resource in Field Service Lightning. Skills are assigned to service resources to indicate the resources areas of expertise. So to start, we're going to need to switch to Salesforce Classic to create a skill. To do so, we're going to navigate to our profile icon up at the top right. We're going to click on that and down at the bottom it says switch to Salesforce Classic. From here, we're going to navigate to setup. Then we'll navigate to the quick find box and type in skills. From here, we're going to scroll down on this list and we're going to want to click on skills. I just want to note that when you type in skills into that quick find box, there's a possibility that more than one skills item will show up. To ensure you're creating skills for field service, make sure that it's underneath the field service section. So from this skills page, we're going to click on the new button. And for the skill name, you can type in electrician certification. So we can skip the assign user and the assign profile section because this is just related to chat only. And we'll click save. Now that we've created a skill, we can now assign it to a service resource. This can be done in Classic or Lightning, but I'm going to do it in Lightning. So we're going to switch back to Lightning Experience by clicking this button at the top right. So now that we're back on the Field Service Admin Apps homepage, to assign skills in Lightning, we're going to navigate to the Service Resource tab up at the top navigation bar. We're going to click on the tab. From here, I'm going to change the list view to view all the service resources. So we can assign any of these individuals a skill. I'm just going to use Alan Reed as an example. So we'll click on Alan Reed. And then from here, if we click on the related tab, you'll see that there's a skills related list. We're going to click new. And as you can see from this skills field, we're going to search a skill. And as you can see, without even typing anything, our new skill popped up. But if it didn't pop up, you would just type in electrician certification. We're going to click on this skill. So for skill level, you can select a number anywhere from zero to 99.99, 99.99 representing the highest skill rating possible. So I'm just going to type in 50. The start date and end date fields are necessary if a particular skill has an expiration date and requires recertification after a certain period of time. You do have to enter a start date, but you don't have to enter an end date. So if the skill or the certification does not expire, then you wouldn't have to put an end date. I'm just going to put the start date as today's date. And I'm not going to enter an end date and I'm going to click save. So we now assign this skill to Alan Reed. In addition to assigning skills to a service resource, you can also add skills as a requirement on work types, work orders, and work order line items. Since work orders and work order line items inherit their work type skill requirements, I'm just going to add a skill requirement to a work type. So to do so, we'll navigate to the work types tab at the top of the navigation bar. I'm going to go over work types in a future video, but in short, as their name suggests, work types are the type of work that your service resources will perform. So I'm just going to click on maintenance. From here, we'll navigate to the related list section. And as you can see, there's a skills requirements related list. We're going to click on new. So where it says skills required, we'll click on that field. And again, electrician certification just pops up, but if it didn't, you would search it, click on that. And then in addition to skills required, you can also set a skill level that's required. I'm just going to leave skill level blank so that anyone with electrician certification skill can work on a service appointment that has this work type. So I'm going to click save. So that's all I have for this video. You now know how to both create and assign skills. One final note. You should aim to assign no more than 50 skills to each service resource. I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that at some point in the video. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you all for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.